did not glue her down, so she is loose as a goose. gentlemen and everybody in between I'm back with somebody else's hair and an extra lift and guess what it is and wigs day clink 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 sip up mm. so y'all go ahead and tell me what you're drinking down below you know the water little juice it's the weekend baby hey, did you know it was a wig I bet you you didn't bet money bet money you didn't know it was a wig and I did her a little bit differently today but before we get into the customizations I want y'all to go ahead and hit subscribe and hit that post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post if you like curly wigs girl this is the channel for you and hit that thumbs up button if you do like this unit that's on my head or if you like me girl you ain't even gotta like the unit do you like me now let's go ahead and get into this wig girl i got so much to tell y'all about this wig because i didn't do nothing to it and she still looks good so i want to say thank you to jerlishi hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video let me go ahead and give y'all some details about this wig so this wig is a jerlishi hair five by five lace curly wig this wig is 180 percent density so she's she's a little thickums the clothes will go from hun to hun do do and then from the rest we got a baby hair hairline that i created myself yes she doing a lot but it could you tell it was a lace closure wig no you couldn't i'm just answer the question for you no you couldn't it is 18 inches long the closure did come pre-plucked i did not pluck this closure this is how she came plucked i'm just gonna let y'all know what's up i also didn't glue her down just so y'all know so she is loose as a goose i did bleach the knots on this lace so i did bleach the knots on this as for the interior of the cap it has three combs and adjustable straps in the back one thing that i absolutely love about this wig is that i didn't have to do much to her i did a couple things to make this wig look good uh, one of them was to customize and get these curls together let me show you what it looks like in the back so can y'all see oh chat absolutely gorgeous if y'all want to see what i did to make this wig look as gorgeous and realistic as she is without having to glue or gel her down without having to pluck or really customize the wig please keep on watching and then we'll be back okay so let's go ahead and get started on this wig i bleached the knots on this wig she's you can tell look at them okay so we're just gonna go ahead and start with the base like we always do this base is going to be the simplest base you've ever seen in your whole entire life yes get us book of world records fast <laughs> pop on this wig grip this is a wig grip that i got from amazon i'm also going to use my wig cap now i use the same wig cap every time it's my tea girl hold on back in business so this is like an old wig cap i use the same one every time because i tint i tint the wig cap to make it closer to my skin tone because as y'all know the girls out there think black people only come in three skin tones so what i like to do is take a little makeup brush this is like a dense makeup brush it's a concealer brush and i'm gonna take my lace tint spray from flawless illusions i'm in the color medium brown and i'm just gonna ooh. I'm just gonna spray the brush like so like that oh oh and I'm just gonna color in y'all see how it just colors in the lace cap she's colored in and ready to go bro that was quick easy painless now let's go ahead and try on throw on this wig i don't think i've tried her on at all but look at this curl pattern let's plop her on oh this okay so this is definitely big head friendly i feel like <laughs> y'all look they plucked it already thank you like i do not have to pluck this i'm not going to pluck it I don't need to pluck this one today so let's go ahead and move along girl what do y'all think middle part side part um 
Hmm, hmm. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm gonna keep it like this. So since we're going to do the middle part, we're just gonna mold it. I'm just gonna take my ZLA Instant Flattener Flattening Souffle. I love my Instant Flattener Flattening Souffle. I'm just gonna take it. And I like to pull the wig back and I just start molding this way. I also like to mold where the part is so the hair doesn't like pipe up. And I do the same thing on the other side. Boom, 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 boom. You don't need to put too much, but I have a problem, girl. I just, I think I have go overboard syndrome. You see how flat it is now compared to before? So I'm gonna take one of my baby hair brushes and I'm just going to brush the hair backwards get it out of the way and do the same thing up here just to make sure we're over directing the hair in the right direction we want the hair to look like it's growing out of the sky if you don't have wrap it it's called wrap dash it wrap it strips if you don't have these in your arsenal girl you need to get them i'm just gonna mold it just a little bit so i'm just trying to mold this hairline back so i'm gonna place it on there Okay, this is where I get frustrated. Ugh. It's insanity, girl, you're making the same mistakes. Pull the hair back. You gotta get the hair out of the way. Tie it in the back. So I'm gonna take my blow dryer. This is my Revlon blow dryer. So I'm gonna blow dry this hairline to get it dry quickly on high and warm. So the hairline is dry. We're as close to dry as it's gonna be with my patient's girl. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop this off. See what the hairline is looking like. Ooh, do y'all see what I'm talking about? Just a little, just a little bit. So now that that's plucked and the hairline is laid down, super duper flat, I need to go ahead and plop this off because we're gonna go ahead and tint the lace. I love the undertone of this lace. The undertone of it is a little bit more golden and not that grayish color. The lace is not super soft on this, but I love the color. We're gonna take our lace tint spray. I'm telling y'all, if y'all have not invested in Mr. Kellen Derrick's lace tint and you're looking for a lace tint, you're in the market, you're around my skin tone, this is the Flawless Illusion Lace Tint Spray in the color medium brown. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I like to turn the cap upside down and I spray into it. Now this stuff sprays like, it sprays like a sprinkler girl, it goes everywhere. Be careful, so I'm just gonna take the cap and then I like to spray inside. You can do multiple layers, but we're only doing one. And I'm gonna take my blow dryer and he says to blow dry on warm to set the lace tint spray. So let's go ahead and do that. We have already tinted our lace and I'm telling you. Okay, so let's go ahead and plop her on. Yes, God. Whoo, look at that. Do y'all see how it's like, Basically my skin tone, I don't know what sort of science this man used, but it's science that I can get with, okay? I think I'm gonna flatten my hairline just a little bit, and I'm going to use my new little, this is my hairline baby hair hot comb. This is a Taishi, Taishi hot comb, and let me show you what it looks like compared to my regular Andis hot comb. So this is like a tiny one, and this one gets super, duper hot so for this part of the hairline i like for it to go backwards so i make sure i pull it back onto my hairline and then i just i'm gonna take the teeth and i'm not gonna go all the way through the hairline i'm just gonna just kind of do that and then i'm gonna take the back of the comb and just flatten it a bit and do the same thing on this side all done all i need to do is cut this hairline down and in order to cut my lace there's no rhyme or reason it's just following the hairline okay i pull my mirror real close and then we go in and cut
Look at that. <gasps> like really, do y'all want me to do it without gelling it down either? I'll put some baby hairs down, but I'm not going to use wig dealer spray, any gel or glue. Let's go ahead and do the baby hairs. Let's go ahead and do those. I'm just gonna pull the hair back because it is a five by five, so there is no lace on this side, so the lace stops right here. So what we need to do is make it look like it's a frontal. Is it gonna look like your natural hairline? I don't know. But we can make it look like a lace frontal. Realistic goals, that's what we're trying to keep. Let's go ahead and start with the baby hairs here. So when I do my baby hairs, we're gonna part some hair away. I like for my baby hairs to be natural, super natural. So, but even though I like it to be natural, we also need to keep in mind that we're trying to cover up this part right there. So they may have to have a little bit more thickums to it. When I lay down my baby hairs, I like to use got to be glue gel. Even if you don't gel down, lay down your hairline, like I didn't do this time, you can use the got to be glue gel and it'll keep your wig slightly in place. Is it fight ready? No ma'am. You get in a fight, that wig is coming off your head. I'm gonna take my got to be glue gel and we're just gonna lay down these baby hairs. Ooh. I'm gonna cut some hair away and I like to take some of the hairs and then move it in the direction to cover up that little closure piece right there. So on this side, I like to give the chili baby hairs on this side, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and pin this back. I'm gonna take my got to be glue gel and I'm gonna see if I can fashion these into a baby hair situation. Okay, so I'm gonna cut. Oh girl, I, I done cut off. <laughs> that is so much hair. So this wig started out at 180% density. It is now down to 150% density because I just cut off all that hair. Girl, what? And we're just gonna take this section and just bring it down right there. Girl, it is giving chili. It's giving biracial. And I'm gonna take some, take some got to be glue gel again, and we're gonna lay it down. Woo, girl, it's giving sideburns. <laughs> What's tea, sis? Why you doing all that? Okay, now let's do, we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. So I trimmed off some of these like ends and I kind of rounded it off like just by going around it while I let these baby hairs dry down and lay down, gruh. I've been watching too much Kyra. Girl, I did way too much on these baby hairs, but it looks good when um, the hair is down, but when it's not down, it's starting to look a fool. Uh-oh, there we go. So this is what the completed hairline looks like. It looks a fool when the hair is not down, but when the hair is down, it looks super realistic and it gives you more of like that hairline sort of look, or at least I think. <laughs> Girl, it is what it is. But in the meantime, we need to go ahead and define these curls. 
The hair is super duper soft, so I'm excited to define these curls. I'm just gonna clip the hair away. I'm gonna use a hair tie over here, and on this side, I'm just gonna separate the hair like this. So I'm gonna separate this front part, and I'm just gonna work in little sections by adding my favorite, favorite hair product. Now you already know, it is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Freeze Free Mousse, and I like to take a good amount of pumps and just add it to the hair. And then I'll take a detangling brush and I'll just comb it through to define the curls at the ends. And this hair I prefer to be just a little bit more fluffy. So I'm not gonna saturate it too much. I say that every single time. But what I do, girl, saturate it, do too much. But I'm focusing on the ends of the hair and not the top because I want it to be really, really full and thick and ridiculous. So I'm gonna keep going through the rest of the hair and then I'll be back. So this is the finished look. This hair is absolutely, positively, amazingly gorgeous. I love it. Like this is everything. And, and, and I didn't pluck it. And I didn't glue it down. Like she, she could come right on off. Please let me know. If y'all looking for something like that, I feel like you should consider this. Of course, do your own research. Look at some other reviews, but this one's, she's a keeper. She's a keeper. Let me show y'all what the back is giving. Look how pretty that is. Girl, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I'll leave all of the information for this wig down below. I would like to say thank you to Jerlishi Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video once again. Of course, they also supplied me with a coupon code because I be asking for it. We need a coupon code for the grus. Ooh, girl, I got my own coupon code. Sometimes, sometimes they be playing me and they don't be having my name in a coupon code. Use coupon code always a mirror for 17% off. I'll leave the details for the coupon code down below along with the wig. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you all so, 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 so much. Thank you just for being here. I just love y'all more than you will ever know. Anyway, <laughs> I 
would like to cry because I still got pictures to take. Anyway, I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.